Hey there guys, so welcome to another video. Today we're going to be making a 10.14 bootable USB. So in this file is everything you need. So we're just going to undo this and it's going to turn into this little folder. We'll have the new version of the Clover files that are needed. A version of Clover that we can install using a PKG, fake SMC, plus whatever other kex that you're going to need to boot and APFS. So we're just going to undo those real quick here. And those are going to go there. So since disk utility is not exactly being friendly right now because this is of course a beta and it will just do that because it's trying to be an ass. What you need to do is format your USB in this way. Name it USB first off. Make sure it's a GUID partition map, a Mac OS extended journal, or an APFS. That's up to you. I'm going to do APFS just for the fun of it and erase. And now that it's done, because it should just take half a second here. creating the volume and done we can pretty much get to making the USB now do make sure that you have this this is available in my Hackintosh discord go into general or the welcome and read channel uh, if you don't find it just type 10.14 and a link will appear using a magical bot and 10.14 hack files see that one entire sentence if you type that in as well the Dinobot will also give you a link to these files so open terminal and this is the command that we're going to be using hit enter Enter your very long password because Mac OS 10.14 does not allow you to have a short password anymore. Oh, well, that's new. All right, so apparently we have to format it again. They must have changed it. So we have to actually format it here into Mac journals because Apple is still not updating APFS for a proper purposes that they said it would be. All right, let's try again. So this is going to take a bit and I'll be back when it's done. All right, so now that it's nearly being done, at this point in time, what will usually happen is Xcode would pop up and ask you to install a file. Just do as it asks and everything will be fine. The world will not end. Don't worry, Xcode's not a scary thing. And now we're going to install Clover on the drive. It's that one right there, okay? Hit Customize. And this might be different for you, but if using Octopix 2, uh, where is it? If using any of these, you could easily replace it with those. But experiment and try because it's up to you. And install the software. We can exit out of this now. There's our EFI and open that up. So what we're going to do is pretty simple. We're going to open up here and we're going to replace this boot file and we're going to replace that file next for a config. Hopefully you guys know your configuration by now. That's not something I can really help you out with. That is all dependent and determined on your hardware specs. 
okay? And as for a text, I'm just dropping this one in. Please, please use the other folder, okay? Because sometimes Clover acts up and the other folder tends to make sure that it never acts up. So next we're gonna place APFS right there. So now we have APFS, we have everything in where it should be, and that's it, we're done. These files will be available on my Discord, as I said, with the download link to the installed Mac OS 10.14 beta app. So stop by, grab the files, and if you don't want to stay, you don't stay. We have a nice little community growing there now, and it's very, very awesome to see how active it was yesterday. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.